Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to channel and welcome back to FS News. Happy Monday. Back to the grind of another week. Anyways, it's Monday, so that means we are back with the news. And wow, we have some good news today. For this Monday, we'll be going over some big green machines. And when I mean that, I mean the John Deere 9R and the 9RX. So two huge pieces of green machinery. So much green actually coming to our farms. Which would you guys choose? Now I'm recording this video at 6 a.m. and at the time there is no test list that has been posted. If there is one, of course, I'll be posting on the community page when it does release or in the discord. Now for the question of the day, what is your favorite John Deere tractor or harvester in the game? Let me know in the comments. I would probably say mine is probably custom modding's John Deere 7R. Always love that mod. Friday's news video, we got 485 likes. You guys did it. So let's start this week off strong. If you guys are excited for these John Deere's, let's try to get that 400 again. Remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's see this news. I'm gonna quit my job. Welcome back. Okay, if you guys can tell, a little bit of my voice is cracking a little bit today. That is because I think allergies are finally starting to catch up with me. So I'm starting to get a sore throat. Great, yeah. But anyways, let's get to that first piece of news we have for today. It's actually from Nasif Modding. Soon, this truck will be available on all platforms on the Mod Hub. You guys are probably wondering, what is this truck? This is the Volvo NL EDC 12. So another Volvo truck will be coming over to the Mod Hub very soon. Good thing is, of course, it will be coming to all platforms. After that one, BC Bueller with his weekly update, he said he got the gooseneck trailer made and in game now. It has attaches for the dash equipment. Another option he's added to all the trailers, he has made it a bale autoload using the setup from Rooster Mods JD Bale Wagon. So not only do we have a sprayer trailer now, now you can also do autoload on it. That will be amazing when it finally comes out. Okay, then after that one, we got some news from Dush Volt PR. Okay, now this is probably going to be bad translation right here, guys. It's not going to make that much sense, but I'm going to try to translate it as much as I can. He said, I have to admit that in spite of everything, I try not to waste. Who follows the list of test and mods noticed that the Bison package got an update. He's already sent it to like way before Christmas, but he could not push it. And now they probably forgot about it. From the novelties, he's added the NH record. He changed the front tires, engine sounds, and combine work. The Z058 and the Z056 got a cutting plant from the uh, W. But that's not all. Some time ago, he felt like doing something small, not necessarily usable. He switched between a few harvesters, but in the end, it was the 87 Mossy Ferguson, a small, agile combine harvester. He only exaggerated the capacity of the tank to be able to go around the field at least once in a while. A small mower because it's three meter long, but he thinks that there will be a few willing to take it on. And that's still not all, because he recently wanted to play FS with his favorite combine, the Giant Buffalo. He was touched by how much quality it lacks, so he intentionally and accidentally updated it. At least he improved the model, tuned the sounds, and added the Z083, which for some reason a lot of people were waiting for. He also changed the support for a simple IC to interactive control, which he thinks it's a lot better. When it comes to publishing all this, he thinks the MF87 is a matter of week and he will send and the giant maximum of two and the Bison pack. Well, it is still pending testing, but these look really good. If you're into those small, small farms, this will be the harvester for you. So a lot of stuff actually coming from them. After that, we got some news from Peter J. Monty. Of course, last week we were talking about, of course, his MF industrial pack. Well, he put out another post saying it's the Mossy Ferguson Industrial Utility Tractors and has nine of them on here. Which one are you guys most excited about that's going to be coming with this pack? By the way, Peter J makes some great, great mods and he made a great map if you guys did not know about that. Now, let's talk about some John Deere's. We actually have three pieces of news about John Deere from three different modders. The first one is from our good friend Agrotono. He is working on the John Deere 8030T. Remember, it's in its final adjustments right here. And he's also added some new tracks on this. Now, with custom modding's John Deere, you see for this right here, this is the John Deere 9R. It says a bit, a little bit of green coming to the mod up in the next few days. So we can actually see this sometime this week. That would be very exciting. There is no release date, though. 
maybe he's just going to be sending it off. So, yeah. And then the last piece of news we have for today is actually from Sid modding about a John Deere. I actually thought he was going to start working on his Gleaner Harvester more. But no, his next project is this. He says, the most common question for me, what's next? You know, after he made the cargo pack, it is this right here. The John Deere 9RX, the brand new one. And if you thought that K715 was the most expensive one and the highest horsepower, well, guess what? You would be wrong because John Deere had to outdo them. Well, anyways, this one right here is actually the John Deere 9RX 830. Max horsepower, 913 horsepower max. Wow. And the base price on this, I don't know if he's going to match it or whatever, but I'm seeing about $1.3 million. Jeez. Now, the big question is if he's just going to be doing the 830, if he's going to be doing the 710, 770, or the 710 Scraper Special, and yeah, or the 770 Scraper Special. But right now, it just looks like the 830. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the news for today. Pretty good pieces of news we got over this weekend. Now, today's schedule, we do not have a live stream planned. The next live stream will be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hopefully, you guys, all did enjoy the video. If you guys did, a like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth